does the adult film industry exploit and take advantage of women? Well, in today's video, I'm going to talk about the little known secrets of the adult film industry that only insiders know about. So let's get cracking. My name is Sterling Cooper, award-winning adult film star, former high-class male companion, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Is the adult industry as a whole abusive or exploitative of women? This is a very interesting question. It's a very, very common assumption that people make, that outsiders make about the industry that I am in. And I'm here today to dispel any myths and to tell the truth, let you guys know, inform you about what the real deal, what the real situation is. So first and foremost, there's been a whole lot of stuff being uncovered around a certain website that rhymes with corn hub that happened very recently happened uh, at the end of 2020 there was a whole lot of revelations around uh what you might call revenge porn uh, abuse material stuff that should not have been on that website so it was uncovered that they were making money off making ad revenue rather off of videos that were on their website that should not have been there so first and foremost that is utter trash that is horrible they uh, should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law which they are currently going through in canada right now so maybe by the time this video comes out we'll have some updates about that however the adult film industry does not traffic people they make that perfectly clear so there's a difference between the let's use that uh that fake name again corn hub making money off of material that was put on their website which was in some cases actually trafficked uh people who were, who were trafficked unfortunately and put and they were filmed and that stuff was put on that website on the corn hub website and corn hub made money off of that that is fucking horrible that is horrific let me state that perfectly crystal clear for anyone in the back who can't hear me so there is a difference between that website and their practices and then the entire adult industry as a whole and their practices so the adult industry doesn't traffic anybody this has never been proven you i've i have worked let me tell you this as well from my own personal experience i have worked on multiple continents i've shot pornography in australia i've shot it in england i've shot it in prague i've shot it in budapest i've shot it in austria i've shot it in all over America. No, none, at no point have I ever worked with a woman who was trafficked. At no point have I ever worked with a woman who didn't want to be there. All of the women I have worked with in this industry are there of their own free will. They made their own decision to be there. That's what they wanted to do. They're there to do a job. It's the industry they chose to be in. No women in the adult film industry the professional mainstream adult film industry are there because of trafficking or are coerced into being there. They're there of their own free will and their own choices. That is something that needs to be said because people conflate these two things and that's just misinformation. This is more of a nuanced point. People want things to be crystal clear and black and white and obvious. That's not the world, unfortunately. So I'm here today to dispel any of these misconceptions or myths that you might have. Now, having said that, do some women kind of get churned through or like chewed up and spit out yes that does happen so in this particular uh situation what happens is a lot of girls will get into this industry of their own free will their own choices mind you but they won't really understand how the industry works and they'll plan out the career terribly and they'll go and they'll jump into it head first and kind of do certain sex acts which typically get reserved for later in a girl's career so unfortunately what happens is a girl will be sh well, the industry term is shot out within three months in some cases sometimes six months but in europe especially some of these girls are doing some very very extreme sex acts involving their butthole and involving multiple men simultaneously within about three months of having gotten into the industry and once they've done that, there's basically no, like, there's nothing else for them to shoot. Like, no company wants to shoot them again because they've, they've all shot them and they've all done the extreme sex acts with them. So there's nothing more for the fans to, to want. There's no more market demand for that particular starlet. So they get shot out and, they, and no one will book them again. They, their career is kind of over. So that does happen. But that isn't 
somebody being sort of malicious to them, that's them not really understanding the industry. And if I'm being honest, that's people in particular in Europe not sitting these girls down when they first get into the industry and explaining to them how their career should be planned out, right? Giving them a clear, crystal clear like roadmap for how to be successful in this industry. A lot of girls do not get that anywhere in the world, unfortunately. So that's where this kind of like exploitative, this, this myth that the porn industry is exploiting women kind of comes in, right? That's kind of where people get that impression because like, oh, this girl, she was chewed up and spat out. Well, yes, she was, but that's because she didn't manage her career correctly. Because there's a lot of girls who've been in this industry for 20 something years, they've made millions of dollars because they've managed their careers correctly. And there's a lot of girls who've been in this industry for a few years and have made a big ton of cash and they've set themselves up for the rest of their life because they're one, smart with their career and two, smart with their money. So it comes down to the individual girl herself as to whether she can make something of this particular career. Now, a lot of people will also throw in the argument that, oh, like the porn industry is run by men and because of that, patriarchy, misogyny, whatever the hell, whatever buzzword they want to throw out at you, because of that, men are taking advantage of women inherently. Let me tell you something, <laughs> women run this industry. They might not be the ones who are owning the companies per se, but women have all the power in the adult film industry. That is 100% the case. Women have the power to cancel anyone they like. They have the power to choose who they do and don't shoot for, for a start. They're the money makers, they're the breadwinners. So basically everyone kind of panders to them and their wants and whims, if I'm being perfectly honest, especially on set, like on the day, that is the person who absolutely has the power in this entire industry. It's the women, the female talent in particular. A lot of people will also throw out the argument or the idea that uh, porn objectifies women. Well, that's actually pretty reasonable. Yeah, we, we turn them into sex objects on camera. However, porn objectifies men even more than it objectifies women. Let me clarify. How much screen time do you think the female actress's face gets during a pornographic movie? Quite a lot. How much screen time do you think my face gets during a pornographic movie? Very, very little. The male actors in porn are quite literally reduced to an object. That object being the penis. Our faces are cut off for like 90% of the action. So we are literally reduced to one appendage. Women, on the other hand, are getting FaceTime the entire time. So don't try and tell me that porn objectifies women without saying that it also objectifies men. You're being a hypocrite if you do. Furthermore, to kind of dispel once and for all this idea of porn exploiting women, taking advantage of women, trafficking women, heaven forbid, let me clarify something. None of the major agencies major talent agents in America are out there recruiting women. They don't have to. Women are coming to them in droves, constantly. Women are constantly applying to get into this industry unprovoked. They don't have to do any recruiting in any way, shape or form. So if that doesn't tell you everything you need to know about this dispelling this myth of porn trafficking women into it, then I don't know what else will. However, not only should you take into consideration my personal experiences and insights into this issue, you should also take into consideration the insights of a 20 year female veteran of the industry. So check out my interview right here with the lovely Sarah J.